Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're listening from. This is Secret Society of Veterans. I'm your host, Anthony Rivera. This is the new show that we're going to try to uh, put out there called The Extraction Zone. Hoping that we get more uh, listeners, more interaction, and uh, just more people liking what we do. I haven't done one of these in a while. It's been a pretty, pretty uh, long uh, pandemic that we've been in. Uh, people have been sick, dying. So uh, we haven't really done too much with podcasting or too much with events or uh, things that have to do with Secret Society of Veterans. But we're building, we're building. The reason I'm doing this show is because, you know, Veterans Day just passed on uh, November 11th and November 12th during that that weekend. Uh, Well, the weekend just passed for Veterans Day. And I wanted to do this uh, podcast because... uh, just recently, I was in a predicament that me and a buddy of mine uh, got in, and we were able to come out of it unscathed. It was an amazing experience what we were doing, but <laughs> I have a fear of certain things, <laughs> and being that I have a fear of certain things, uh, they kind of manifested during this, uh, time that I'm going to be talking about. So stay tuned, sit back, grab a coffee, grab a snack and enjoy the podcast. Welcome back. I'm your host, Anthony Rivera, here on uh, Extraction Zone. Uh, Usually I have guests and we uh, sit back and we chit-chat and we shoot the shit. uh, And basically uh, tell you about our lives and uh, our lives after service because this is a Secret Society of Veterans uh, podcast. So we're we're dealing with a lot of veteran uh, uh, things that we do after service, after active duty. Uh, yeah, you're more than welcome if you're active duty to listen or to put bring in your input or to call into the show and uh, be on the show and just have a uh, uh, powwow with us here at Secret Society of Veterans or at uh, Extraction Zone. I gotta learn how to just keep saying Extraction Zone instead of Secret Society of Veterans, guys out there, guys and girls out there. So, I started off by telling you that I was doing something that was uh, kind of... Uh, fearful for me what I was doing is uh, I had a buddy of mine set up a camping trip now a lot of you don't know uh, I'm here out in Florida I live in Florida so Florida is very wild lifey <laughs> Florida is really mainly known for uh, alligators and their oceans and the beautiful pristine beaches and things to that effect but the Everglades is uh, the central park to New York is uh, the Everglades to Florida or just any wild uh, spring or any wild uh, excursion into the forest, into the woods, into what you want, into the swamps, whatever you want to call it. So a buddy of mine decided to set up a, uh, a uh, camping trip. Everybody was in. We had uh, nine nine people go, adults, women and children and uh, men. And it was a fun time. Don't you know? Don't get it twisted. It was an amazing time. We had tons of laughs, tons of food. Everything was perfect. Everything was great. Um, we enjoyed s'mores by the campfire, music by the campfire, jokes. We even had a moment of a storytelling time where you uh, hot potato the story 
basically you start off the story you give a couple of paragraphs the next person continues your story or the story that's being told which was amazing it was fun imaginative creative uh we we had a great time i want to give thanks to all those guys and girls that uh went on this camping trip and made this experience an experience i want to say thank you first to uh darren which uh set up the whole thing and it went off like a blast i want to say thank you to darren's wife uh graciela which uh, helped us with the whole thing and it was just an amazing experience i want to say thank to thanks to everybody else too you know angela erica lucy chris patrick alex even baby liam <laughs> Uh, we had just an amazing experience. We also want to say thank you to the Doug Dynasty guys that came over and offered us chili and breakfast in the morning. Thank you, guys. That was an amazing. That was amazing. Uh, wherever you go, you know, love conquers all. So, you know, being that we're from different sides of the world or different towns or different counties or whatever you want to call it, these guys decided to come over, say hello save us too because they brought over charcoal when we ran out of charcoal for the guys to cook some burgers and hot dogs which was like great so i want to give a big ups to those guys and uh if they hear this or if somehow they find us and find us then uh thank you guys and i want to say thank you to all the veterans and military for their service and for giving the sacrifice that they do for us to be able to do these camping trips and have these uh, pristine uh, forest and reservations and places for us to go and enjoy our country. On that note, when we went, uh, the guys and girls also went into the water to find uh, ancient fossils fossils of sharks fish anything vertebrates anything anything from what i was told or from my understanding is that that part that we went to was under the ocean or underwater and uh, when the water receded it left back and behind all this all this uh fossilized uh fossilized things so when you walk on land over there you see seashells so far in in shore that you're just like hmm, how did this get here which is an amazing experience and then uh lucy and chris have knowledge for uh certain fossils and they were finding these little shark teeth from three thousand years ago thirty thousand years ago i don't know the ages but they were ancient and they were fossilized they were so hard like a brick um to the point where you can find megalodon uh teeth shark teeth and they can be of value we saw one that was almost 400 dollars uh a shark tooth and uh that was found on that on that river we were on the peace river and uh like i said it was an amazing experience but <laughs> being who I am, I'm a tough guy, but <laughs> I'm afraid of gators. Um, they're very unpredictable animals. Yes, they're skittish when there's a lot of groups of people around, but they are also curious too, and they want their land and their habitat to stay pristine and stay the way they like it. So when we come in as humans, we have to be aware of that. So we as a group decided to go on a canoe trip uh, i believe it was maybe eight miles down the peace river which was an amazing experience i loved it i enjoyed it because i was with some good people but i had the fear in my heart of gators coming to get me yes coming to get me so on this trip if it smelled like poo all the way through is because i pooed on myself <laughs> I'm joking about that. I didn't pull myself, but I almost did. So being that, we were down this Peace River, and uh, we're enjoying this uh, 
this ride. So we decided to split up into groups of two, uh, you know, two people per canoe. And it was just, you know, everything we did was kind of like on point. Everybody was on the same page. Everybody had the same ideas. Everybody had, everybody agreed to things. We didn't have any kind of drama, any kind of, you know, no, let's not do that. The only kind of drama we had was when we had to do these reservations and uh, talk to these people and they kind of didn't understand or we didn't understand or whatever it may have been. But everything came down to having a great experience and we did. So being that, we started off this trip with... uh, Me and my friend Erica and her baby being on one canoe, uh, we had uh, Lucy and Chris on another, we had Darren and his wife on another, and we had Alex Alex Patrick and Angela on another canoe. So I'm in a canoe with a baby and Erica which is the baby baby Liam's mother. Uh, and we're paddling down this river. Now, this is kind of like the first time I'm doing a canoe trip or I'm doing something with a canoe where I have to paddle and do some sort of exercise. Yes, exercise. My wrist, my forearms, my shoulders, my buttocks. Everything hurt. <laughs> but the experience was amazing. Erica was a trooper taking care of a baby and rowing a canoe and guiding it through the water. She is a trooper and I give her the utmost respect and the utmost love. So thank you, Erica, for that and teaching me a couple of things. You're a trooper and I'm happy that you're my friend. So being that we're we're going down this river and we're doing these things, we were looking for these little, uh, we were told that there's these outposts that we can stop off and get some rest and uh, maybe get a drink or just sit down and eat or whatever. So we pull off at these stop, one of these stop offs. Uh, and we're looking around, we use the bathroom, we're having a good time. So we decide that we should switch boats or switch partners for the boats, for the, for the uh, canoes. And we do. Now, I end up in the canoe with Alex, which he's steering and paddling in the back of the canoe, and I'm on the front. Uh, And I believe Erica and baby Liam ended up in the canoe with Patrick and Angela. And the rest did the same. Because they're a little more experienced on this stuff, so they stood, stood the same. So we're paddling down this river like old folk do. We're singing tunes, laughing, and pointing everything out. We were pointing so much stuff out that every gator was looking at us and was like, oh my God, these guys again, I'm really tired of being pointed at. Point at something else. So we, we're, we're, we're down this river and we're enjoying it. And there's some gators. I mean, like six foot, four feet, three feet, uh, big gators. And uh, we're 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 enjoying ourselves, laughing. I'm the only one that's kind of a, a pussy. Excuse my language, but yeah, a pussy when it comes to gators. The rowing and the boat, that I didn't care. The water, I didn't care. But the gators, I did. Because I seen one of them jump off the edge with one leg and look like he was going to come at us. So that right there was... Uh, understanding that the one-legged gator didn't give a shit about us <laughs> so i sit there and uh start rowing and enjoying the, the trip and bitching and complaining down the road about these gators and you know me i'm a tough guy i'm from the bronx i'm a i'm a i'm a dude that has been through hell and back i've been to war like i i've been through hell and back and uh I'm there like, ah, oh, fuck these gators. I don't, I don't, I hate these gators. I don't enjoy gators. I'm scared of gators. I, I don't want to be around gators. Real tough guy stuff, you know? But to everybody else, it sounded like, oh my God, there's gators in the water. Please get me out of this. I'm going to pee pee. That's what it sounded like, as opposed to the tough guy stuff that I was uh, spewing out of his mouth. <laughs> 
So being that, we're rowing down this river, and I hear in my mind, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. But there was no merrily, 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 merrily. It wasn't like that quite as it seemed. So I am rowing with Alex, complaining, crying. I'm the only one complaining now, and、uh, everybody else is cool. I didn't hear a peep from the baby either. The baby was cool, which is crazy for me. So we're rowing down the down the river, and.、Uh, We had met some couples and that had met us at the canoe place and、uh, were really really nice people and、uh, they're pointing things out also and we catch up to them every so often down the river. So we sit there on this river and we're looking at these gators and I'm seeing all this craziness and me I'm not I love wildlife I love animals I love things but I don't like unpredictable stuff. I've swam with sharks. And they're unpredict unpredictable also, but they're so scarce and so far away. Gators are like you see one gator, now you see two, you see three, you see four, and it's not every six miles, it's every three feet, or every four feet. You see that dens, you see all that stuff, which is crazy. So we're rolling down this river. So I'm rowing down this river, and I'm thinking to myself, "Man, these little canoes can flip over. These little canoes are really sturdy." I'm complaining to my friend Alex, and I feel bad, and I apologize, Alex, <laughs> if you hear this.、Uh, and I was telling him, "Don't shift your butt because you're shifting the boat," which was putting a little more fear in my heart. With that being said, let me、uh, break off for a commercial break, and we will be right back. Welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back! <laughs>、um, yeah, so getting back to where、uh, we were at. So we're on this Peace River. So,、uh, if you don't know where the Peace River is, Peace River is up in up north Florida, like Arcadia, getting closer to、uh, the Tampa area, a little west from the Orlando area,、uh, southwest from the Orlando area. It's actually a nice, nice little quiet farming towns. Really, really nice up there.、Uh, really, really country. Really, really、uh, calm and serene. Very relaxing, quiet. A lot of country stuff going on. So if you ever watch like a Duck Dynasty or when they go hunting for those、uh, alligators and stuff on like the History Channel, any of those channels,、uh, it's exactly what you're going to be running into when you go up to、uh, the Arcadia area or to that area that we were at to go、uh, camping, which was I really don't remember the name of the campsite. <laughs> But if anybody else remembers,、uh, type it in the text or wherever you can, and so we can remember. I think it was like Brownville or something like that. So, being that we're on this river, floating down in between two banks, where every four feet there's gators, we're pointing them out, laughing, joking. I'm fearful for my life. <laughs> I'm sitting there in a canoe.、Uh, I, I am a native, and I am going down river to go hunt for our meal for the night with a friend of mine and a bunch of friends of mine. Uh, trying not to become the meal for the night.、Uh, we're we're going down this river and see couples and that are aren't with our group, and we're saying hello. We're you know we're having good 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 conversation. Um. So it's me and、uh, Alex in one canoe. Since we decided to switch the baby and Mama into another canoe with some more experienced、uh, canoers. So we end up being me and Alex on this on this canoe, and we're rowing down this、uh, on this river. And I know he was probably a little upset at me for complaining all the way down, not just enjoying the time that we're going. And then you know I kind of manifested what is about to happen to us.、Um, so we're rowing and we're enjoying ourselves and 
trying to like keep calm. I'm trying to keep calm because right now uh, my heart's racing a million miles a minute. I kind of have like smoke coming out of me because it's like doing burnouts inside me. Like, let's get the hell out of this area. Let's get back on shore. Let's get back home. And let's, I mean, let's just get away from these people. I actually felt like I was on one of those conveyor belts where, you know, you go and you pick your food and you pick it up off this conveyor belt. I felt like it was a conveyor belt. You know, the river was the conveyor belt and we were the meals on that conveyor belt. And the alligators were like, hmm, maybe I'm feeling vegan today. Maybe I'm feeling like I want some red meat. But they looked at me every time I passed an alligator and each one of them licked their lips like I was a penit. Uh, for those that don't speak Spanish uh, in the Puerto Rican and Latin community we have a uh, pork shoulder which we roast and we make it to we call it a penin other people call it a lechon but yeah that's what I look like I uh, to them actually I passed one and he had a uh, he had a handkerchief wrapped around his neck and a fork and a knife in each hand looking at me like hmm, fall in real quick so being that, the uh, couple that we had met and uh, was telling us different little things came out and they were like, hey guys, stay to the left because there's a 12 foot gator right there. So as soon as he says, stay to the left, there's a 12 foot gator right there. For some reason, we went too far left and hit a kind of a bush that was in the water and one of the branches caught uh, my friend Alex and pushed him over and flipped us on the boat in this alligator infested water uh, I end up going down under the water the water f- the, the ground was so mucky and disgusting uh, that all I could think about was getting back to shore so when we're in the water me and Alex look at each other while we're freaking swimming and we're just like let's just get this boat and get back like we were trying to get back on top of the boat because it was already capsized we we're trying to get back on the on the canoe on the back side of it and just float it over so we're not no limbs are hanging in the water but it wasn't working so we just pushed the boat onto shore while we're swimming and uh at that moment is when we realized that hey maybe that gator is coming after us <laughs> 12 feet oh listen i'm only five foot ten I fit perfectly in a 12 foot alligator stomach um, so being that we end up back on shore now I am the most livid person on that water pissed off so mad but I can still I can hear the guys saying hey get off that land because that's their home <laughs> And while I'm walking pissed off, screaming at everybody, cursing everything out, cursing out myself for doing this, cursing everybody out, I'm looking at the grass and I see the flat grass where they usually lay. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Let's get the hell out of here. So we flip the boat over, the canoe over, get the water out. We jump back in and we start making our way down with my complaints. I was kind of a bad camper. Not in the camping site, but on the water. So I apologize for that. But at the same time, it's my life that's in danger if it comes down to an alligator deciding to say, let me jump in the water and find out what that was that just splashed in the water. All an alligator needs to do is grab you, pull you under, death roll, drown you, and keep you under until you start to till you're able to be eaten till your body starts to decompose some which is scary to me I don't know how many other people would be in fear of their life for that but I was and I survived it with me and Alex Alex survived it too and I give uh, much thanks to Alex for being calm under pressure and uh, we survived it so we pull into shore And I'm really pissed off and mad at everybody. I'm wet. I'm like a mud demon. I'm freaking pissed off at everybody. And not everybody. I'm just pissed off at the situation. I'm not really mad at anybody. I'm happy with everybody because actually they, uh, 
you know, they we had a good time and it was a great experience. I was just mad at the situation that I was in. But I let it I, I I'm not the type of person to be mad forever. So I just let it pass me by and uh enjoyed the rest of the time. I actually laughed about it with the rest of the group. I actually sat there and uh we took pictures, we enjoyed. The other thing I'm really upset at now is that the memories were lost. The memories I took, everybody else took pictures, but the memories I took after leaving the boat, I mean, leaving the uh campsite onto the Peace River have been lost onto my, on my phone. My phone drowned. My phone is gone. So now I'm in I'm in process of waiting for a phone. But this situation had me thinking about life in a whole different aspect. Yes, you're supposed to go out there and enjoy this world that we live in. You're supposed to go out there and enjoy these things that that are here for us that have been created by God for us to enjoy and uh entertain ourselves and things like that. But please don't ever put yourself in harm's way. And don't <laughs> talk about it because and then when you talk about it during that time, it can manifest. I am just happy that we had switched the baby out into another boat of experienced canoers and we were the ones that fell in the water more more uh, guys that can survive it me and the guys were and the girls were talking about hey you know maybe that was uh, god saying you know that boat was going to happen that was going to happen to that canoe anyway so being that we put the baby in another boat we uh we kind of dodged a bullet there um because i think god said you know you two guys will be able to freaking swim to shore and you guys will survive but a baby uh would with that current would be floating down the river and we'd have to go after it in between all those gators that were there so we're we're very very uh happy and thankful and grateful that we didn't have that situation on our hands but all in all the situation i mean put fear in my heart but i came out of it and i conquered my fear i guess the camping trip was amazing we saw we seen owls uh we enjoyed each other's company and we did what we needed to do to get through this uh through this mission and we had laughs after laughs after laugh which laughter is the key to life So, this is my alligator episode. <laughs> Since I haven't done this in a really really long time, so I'm going to start doing this a little bit more. But I hope that you enjoyed the story and enjoyed uh my experience on the Peace River with uh alligators. This has been the Extraction Zone. I'm your host Anthony Rivera. If you guys want to come see us or listen to any of the older uh episodes, you can find me on anchor.fm. uh secret society of veterans or you can find us at www.secretsocietyofveterans.com also you can go follow us at uh our facebook group which is secret society of veterans or you can even follow me on instagram my uh, instagram is smear dreams 2021 again this is extraction zone for secret society of veterans and I'm your host Anthony Rivera enjoy your day peace love and take care of each other